my name is Ezra Keeney. I'm a junior here at Bryn Mawr College, and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of Urban Hall. So come on in. The first thing you'll notice about Urban is that it's very, very big. It was designed by Louis Kahn in the 1960s, and it's made from like a little more Scottish castle in a brutalist sense. But you guys, this way first. Because what's really cool about Urban is that it's actually also a dining hall. Urban's made of three diamond sort of sections. And part of one of the sections is a dining hall. As you can see, they're currently getting ready for dinner. So you just walk through here and be right there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whenever you want it. Um, well, not whenever you want it, whenever it's open. There are three floors. We're currently on the second floor. So there's the ground floor, and there's the basement, and then there's upstairs just through here. Every single dorm on campus, the DLT, paints a lovely little banner with a little theme, and our theme we decided to make this year was Area 51. You come back here with me really quickly. I'll show you what's around here. It's a little study spot and study section that we have back here. You need a place to chill, or you want to get some snacks, the vending machine, and the soda machine. Perfect place to do it. I'm the HA on this hall, and HAs, or hall advisors, get to choose the theme of the hall. And if you guys have seen some things, see the theme I chose was Corgis. Now we're walking to the A Diamond, and what's in the A Diamond is our common room. You guys come in here for these big brass doors. You'll see a lovely, huge common space. As a little fun fact, almost every single dorm on campus here has a piano. So sometimes you'll hear around 8 p.m. like a nice moonlight sonata. This common room is huge, as you can tell, but what's really cool about this common room is that there's a secret common room downstairs, so come along. So, we call this the pit. This is in the basement. It's very nice. There's also another piano down here. But yeah, let's head back upstairs and I'll show you my room. These are two steps. Oh my god. Something really cool about this table is Bring some chess pieces. Bring some chess. I was on the chess team in elementary school. Was not good, but I did it anyways. Yes, I'm gonna show you my room first. I'm gonna show you all my shoes outside. It's because of the social yeah. honor code. We have the social honor code here at Bryn Mawr. And what the social honor code is, is just a mutual contract of trust, responsibility, and respect for each other. Hence why I was able to leave my door unlocked. So, welcome to my room. Hey. What's really cool about Erdman is that some of the rooms in Erdman have window benches. So you can have some friends come over and just chill and relax. I got another chair just in case. Um, Erdman dorms, or be yeah, dorms have captain's beds, um, but some other dorms will have dressers. There's a closet behind you. They, uh, I just like to make it home, so it's very, very fluffy. Someone said that is very Liz, so. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Everyone wants to know we're gonna be showering, so come on in. Um, most bathrooms in Urban look like this, single stall, single shower with two sinks. We also have tea pantries here at Bryn Mawr, which is just a very fancy word for a kitchen mat. So we have a sink, a microwave, a little pantry spot, and also a refrigerator and freezer over there. So you can freeze your foods, refrigerate your foods, or just leave any bread or anything like that. Um, again, you'll see the social honor code at work there where no one really touch your food or anything like that. This is my mug. It's currently soaking here and it's clean. That's in there for a little bit, but no one's gonna touch it because it's my mug. Thank you guys so much for coming on this quick little dorm tour. Um, we have many, many, many different dorms on campus and you'll be able to see a lot of them being like toured. So thank you for coming on mine. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.